it's Danielle and I am back with another layout. My layout that I'm going to be doing today is my entry into Kate Roar's 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, I love the Kate Roar scrapbook channel. She is one of my favorite scrapbookers on YouTube. I just love watching her videos. I, I think she has a really um, unique style and um, I, I, she's just, she's easy to listen to and she's just funny. I always find myself laughing at just some of her little comments that she says. And overall, I just, I really, really like her. So I definitely wanted to support her in her accomplishment of reaching 500 subscribers. And if you haven't watched any of her videos, you should definitely go and check her out. I will link to her YouTube channel below. Um, I also wanted to mention I'm filming this video at night, which is, which is my first time doing that. Um, I usually film during the day because of, you know, it's, it's obviously much better lighting. Um, but I do a lot of my scrapbooking at night. So what I did was I had went to some of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of and I had just asked for suggestions on how to get better lighting at nighttime. So I purchased a couple lights and um, I'm giving it a go. Like I said, there's just a few things that are, that are bugging me. The the heart, yeah, it's just it seems a little bright and harsh, and also the shadows and stuff. So I might tweak it a little bit or get a different setup or or who knows what. But for now, this this seems to be okay, and we'll we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm scrapbooking this photo of me and my daughter. This was taken a couple Mother's Day ago, and um, I'm I'm doing this grid design. So last week, Victoria Marie had a challenge to use grids. And I had mentioned in that video that I, I love grids. It's my favorite technique to use. And I, I had, I had done a layout that had grids and I just wanted to do another one. And I thought this particular page would be a good one to do a grid layout on because I'm using my Felicity Jane Olivia kit, which I absolutely love. It's, it's super cute. But, um, I had all of this out to, to scrapbook with on my desk and my daughter had brought in a glass of water because she wanted to show me that she filled it up all by herself in the sink which she was super excited about but she had set it on my desk and then bumped it and it spilled over my whole kit and a lot of the papers got ruined so I cut off what wasn't ruined and so I just had a little bits of paper left so obviously a grid is going to be super good for that so I just took six of the pattern papers and I cut six squares and um, I, I laid them down in, in a way that looked good to me. And then I just took a lot of little bits and pieces that I had laying around and I'm just playing with it. You can see that I've kind of moved them around on these different squares and got, you know, got them situated how I like them. And now I'm just getting, getting everything stuck down. So I'm using this liquid Tombow glue to get that little pink dot dot set into the middle of that camera. And it doesn't seem to be sticking very well, so I'm going to pull out some glossy accents, and that seems to be working better. But I'm just going to quickly go over where I where I got all these little bits and pieces. That metal rim tag, it, it just came from the office supply store. I took my one-inch circle punch, and I punched some peach paper to... To put in the center of that and then that wood veneer on top of that I'm pretty sure that came from um, from Studio Calico also this this um, that wood veneer camera I think that came from Studio Calico as well that little pink dot that I'm using that that came from the Felicity Jane kit um, it, it looks like an enamel, enamel dot but I'm pretty sure it's a perler bead that she had melted down um, but it's, it's, it's a great color and it matches the, the, the kit perfectly. Now this foam too, I don't know where it came from. I had, I had cut the numbers off of the letters for this particular set of foam, foam thickers. I was going to use them on my December daily. So I just had this lone two sitting there, but I placed that on top of some white cardstock to, to layer on that square. And I, it's the whole white on white look that I love. It's just so clean and pretty and fresh. I think that looks really nice. So this flower, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's from the paper studio. And I'm going to layer this enamel dot on top of that. This is a Teresa Collins enamel dot that I got from Joann's. This piece of flare that I'm going to get put on my layout came from the kit, and I'm just using some glue dots to get that onto my layout. Those seem to be working pretty well for those flares. 
I'm just going to center that into the middle of the square. Now that last little square that I have to work with, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. Um, I take some of the, the um, I have those hearts right there. Those are those were a branding strip onto the bottom of one of the papers. And I think about using this label from Studio Calico. But I decide to take out these My Mind's Eye letter stickers and I just pull off you and me and I put those on there. I'm not quite sure what's, what collection those stickers came from. I got them at Joann's quite a while ago, but they're they're um, from my mind's eye. Now I'm going to take the rest of these little pieces of paper and I'm going to layer them up together and I'm just going to place them behind my photo. And then I just kind of look at my layout and I think if it, you know, what else does it need, if anything at all. Um, but while I think about that, I decide to get the, the paper that I'm going to journal on all situated. So that, that peachy paper came in the kit and then I'm just putting some white cardstock on top of that. And then I'm using two little hearts that came off the branding strip and I'm going to put on the bottom of that. I'm going to be layering this or putting it in a pocket behind my layout. So it needed to, to be kind of flat and not have too much dimension to it. I decide to pull out this doily and just put it behind all of those layers behind my photo. I love doilies. They're just cute and girly and fun and so I thought it would be perfect to to use on this layout. Since I put some of that doily in the upper portion of my layout, I wanted to also put some in the lower portion of my layout. So I just cut a small piece from it and I just have it peeking out behind this square on the bottom of my layout. So once I get all of the bits and pieces and layers glued down on my layout, I, I just take a good look at it and I feel that it, it feels a little unbalanced. I think what's doing it is I have that cluster of papers and labels and doilies behind my photo and it just feels super top heavy to me. So what I decide to do to fix that is I just take a strip of paper from um, one of the papers in the kit and I, um, I put that on the bottom of the layout. It's, it's not much, but I think that it, it just kind of balances out, at least to me. It, it just makes it feel feel overall more balanced. So once I get this um, adhered to my layout, I decide to um, take care of the pocket for my journaling. So I'm just taking a piece of white cardstock and I'm gonna lay my little journaling card, so to speak, on top of it so that I can get a good idea of the size that I need this pocket to be. It's just it's just an easy way to um, to get the right size for the pocket. Then I take this red line tape that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to I'm just going to get that around my journaling card. Now I use this is the tape I usually use for this process, um, but if I'm out of this, I will just use my regular old tape runner. I. I mean, I think I want those pockets to stay in place and I want I want them to stay there. So that's why I use a more um, more strong adhesive. But overall, I think for the most part, these these pages aren't going to be fussed with too much. They're going to just be in my book in a page protector. So I think for the most part, they're going to be fine. But it's nice to be on the safe side and use a tape that's that's pretty strong just so as that's pocket. In, not the pocket, but the journaling gets pulled in and out, if it ever gets pulled in and out, that it will just be nice and strong um, and won't fall apart. I often wonder how often that will really get pulled out. I mean, I think my daughter will, but I mean, probably not very often, so. All right, then I take my whole layout over to the sewing machine and I just stitch on it in a couple places. I stitch along the bottom of that strip and then I also stitch um, across the letter stickers that say you and me. Now I had to pull that off of the layout to stitch on it because as you can see that's right where that pocket is. So if I would have just stitched over it would have stitched my pocket closed, you know, part of the way down. So I just took that off and stitched on it and now I'm just going to get it back on the layout. So that finishes it up for this layout but 
like I was mentioning, you should definitely go over and check out Kate Rohr's YouTube channel. She's having a really, really, really fantastic giveaway right now. So head on over there. Like I said, I will put that link down below. So thanks so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you all soon. All right. See you later, guys.